Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about the greatest common factor, and we're finding the greatest common factor of each. So, if I was given these numbers, 24 and 28, okay? Well, the first thing here, I look at 24, and I try to find all the factors of, well, 24. Well, 24, we've got 24, and we have 1, right? And 2 goes in there, and so is 12, okay? Now, does 3 go to 24? Yes, 3 does, and that's going to be uh, 8 times, right? And then we have 4, and we have 6, right? 4 times 6 is 24. After that, there's no other numbers that I can think of that also that go into 24. <clears throat> so now, let's go see which one of these also goes into 28, right? 24, no, can't go in evenly. 12 doesn't, too far off. 8 doesn't go into 20 evenly, don't got that. 6, no, but 4, yeah, 4 goes into 28, right? That's going to be 7 times. So, 4 here is my final answer. So, quick recap, we're given 24 and 8, and we have to find the greatest common factor. Well, broke down the factor of 24, and the largest one of them was 4 that also went into 28. So, there we have our final answer is just 4.